Hello my soccer universe. Friday evening also sees the start of a new league 1 season. And as I've done with previous leagues, I'm gonna ask three questions in order to preview the new season a little bit. The first question of course concerns the most volatile team in France, which is OM, who managed to get a big name manager in Deserby. You know, the guy who everyone admired at Brighton, that did great stuff at Sassuolo as well. How will the Zerbi ball work for OM? Will OM be able to get back into the Champions League? The best story of the past season was undoubtedly Brest making it into the Champions League. And Ligue 1 is one to produce good runs by smaller teams. Will we get a sequel of the best story from last year or will it be another team? It is wide open if you were to ask me. But of course the big one is, with Mbappé gone, does Luis Enrique now have the tools to build a true team? This is a new era for PSG. Will PSG be again the juggernaut that they should be in this league? Or is there another team that actually can catch them? A team like Monaco, OM, Lille or Lens? That's something I'm really curious, but I'm especially looking at PSG for European performances. Now for the long form video, I'm gonna add a few more observations. I actually think that this league 1 season could be a really interesting one. I already said PSG is now without real superstars. How with Luis Enrique, they have now a manager who is the star of the team that can build a great team. However, how long will this take? On the other side, there are a bunch of really good teams in Ligue 1 that actually could cause some trouble. Monaco kept up with PSG for a while. OM, if they get the Zerbi right, I think could mount a challenge and the two northern teams in Lille and Lens. Yes, there have been changes at Lille as well. We might get there. Also, Lyon were really good at the end of last season. Can we see both Olympic teams go back into Europe, maybe back into the Champions League? For me, this is really, really interesting. Ligue 1 is usually most exciting below PSG because it's a really level league and we might see another smallish team like Brest make it into the top spots, maybe even challenge for Europe. That is what Ligue 1 is great for, but it also leaves a very big relegation field as well. And as usual, I'm also looking at what the model predicts based on the ELO rating and also the bookie odds. PSG, the huge favorite. I mean, their odds on, they are miles above the rest of the league. But then it's Monaco, OM, Lille, all close together. Lens, not too far behind, as is Lyon. Then we have a little drop off to the teams that could challenge. I mean, Rennes is a team that I always expect to do a little bit better than they do. We have Nice in there, we have Brest in there. I would say the top nine, and then we have a bottom half. Starting with Reims, Montpellier, Toulouse, we probably should not have too much to do with relegation. For relegation, we have to, of course, look at the promotion the teams with Auxerre being odds on to survive. Nantes again hanging precariously down there. Saint-Etienne, a big name returning to Ligue 1. However, will they be able to survive in Angers? Same thing, although they had a long spell in Ligue 1 previously. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.